When I bought the dump truck, actually before I buy it, I discovered they use this to fix uh, the accelerator pedal, the hinge point broke, and they use this door hinge. This is bad idea because dirt could collect over here and it make this hard to operate and it was. And they use this heavy gauge spring at the injector pump side to keep the accelerator pedal in the idle position. So you have to fight it real hard to accelerate the truck. They also manage to bend this rod because this part is damaged, so they try to get more leverage out of this one. This part severely damaged, it's easy to fabricate. I just have to cut piece of metal out of this and bend it to this shape and drill three holes. And I'm going to weld bushing to act as a hinging point. And this part over here is also damaged. I'm going to cut it and weld the flat stock. And I will straight this part fabricate a new bushing for the accelerator to match the geometry of this one. So you see right now it's further from the floor. It needs to hinge at this point to get the maximum moving distance out of this rod. I also fixed the floor of the truck and I'm going to add a blade over here and I will use bolt and nuts to tie this uh, battle this accelerator battle to the floor of the truck. And it will be very strong and easy to operate. And I don't use the spring, I just use the spring that built in into the injector pump. I was able to fabricate a new part instead of this one. I will use these two nuts to use them as jam nuts so they don't apply pressure on this one and this will stay free a little bit and there is very minimum play to minimize the chance of uh, contaminant get inside and prevent this from freely operate. I welded this bushing on this side and welded the flat washer to give a spacing to this one. And I'm using a flat washer between the two parts to act as a bearing. And I did same thing over here. I welded a washer and I welded a bolt, grade eight bolt. And this will operate freely. And I did replace this part. I cut this original ear and I welded thicker metal stock and drill it at the same location. And this came out great. I also did this. And I will trim this if I have to on the machine when I get to the truck. I'm also using a grade 8 bolt. I bent this flat stock to this shape and I drilled it. And I was able to weld it to this surface. I welded it very quick and I have water on the ground and I set this so I don't damage the rubber. And it came out great. I took this eighth inch a flat stock about three millimeter thick, everything three millimeter thick or eighth inch stock. And I welded ears over here, a drilling to the same shape. And I calculated how far I need from the floor before because the floor mat will come here so I want this to be above the floor to prevent dirt from getting into the surface and this work great I also cleaned all the parts I'm ready to paint them and then I'll take them and try them out I installed the accelerator 
I throw bolted it to the floor. I have washers and nut from underneath. It's very solid. I cut this piece of rubber because it was damaged and I removed the rotted material until I got to the clean area. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to cut two layer of this carpet and I will glue them to the floor and to each other. And then I will cut piece of this rubber and I will glue it on the top. I cut this cardboard to match this cut and I end up cutting four pieces of carpet to get me the thickness of this floor mat. I also separate this one with adhesive. The camera sitting on the rubber, I will take the rubber and I will cut it wider than this area. Then I will get some acetone and clean this area real good and rough it a little bit with sandpaper and then clean it again with acetone and then I will glue it to the floor. I cut the piece of rubber and I put this notch in it to go around this hinging point. This is 60 grit sandpaper.
I will give it a few minutes to dry and then I will glue it in place. I have the spring disconnected by the injector pump. That's why there is no pressure on this one. The accelerator pedal working great. I also upgraded the spring on the injector pump. I removed the two temporary one and I have a single spring. Let me show you. This used to be a long spring. I cut it to length. I bend this to oval shape. So it will fit and it's in place, it won't come off. I drill this one and I use two keychain rings to keep the spring in place and it's working great. It has the right amount of pressure. I have help inside the cap. Go for it, press on the pedal. And as you see, it's worked great. Thank you for watching, be safe and have a good day.